Today we are going to discuss the practical topic for CC3 for course 3 psychology uh, which is on reaction time. Reaction time is the time required to get the overt response started. It can also be defined as the onset of stimulus and beginning of response. The response cannot come out of the organism quite as soon as the stimulus goes in. The stimulus starts a process going, but the process remains hidden or latent inside the organism till it reaches the muscles that produces the observable effect on the environment. A formal definition of reaction time has been given by Warner in 1934, which is, reaction time is the time that elapses between the presentation of the stimulus and the onset of the overt intentional response in a prescribed manner. Our specific problem for this experiment will be to experimentally determine the effect of the variation in the instructions on the simple reaction time of the subject. We are going to work with three different levels, three different types of reaction time on this. First one will be natural reaction time, second is sensorial and the third one will be muscular reaction time. Based on the number of stimulus present, reaction time may be classified as simple reaction time, complex or compound reaction time. In simple reaction time, there is only one type of stimulus, or rather there is only one stimulus to which the subject reacts in a particular way. When different responses to different stimuli are required in the task, it is called disjunctive reaction time. Complex or disjunctive reaction time is of two types. Number one is discriminative reaction time where a subject task is complicated by presenting two stimuli instead of one in a random order. The subject is asked to react to one and not to the other. The second type of complex reaction time is choice reaction time where the task is rendered even more complex by not only uh, using alternative stimuli but also providing alternative responses. In simple reaction time, variations can be introduced by varying the instructions that are provided to the subject. When the subject is asked to respond, when stimulated, it is natural reaction time. Whereas, when the subject is asked to respond only when he or she is sure of the stimulus that he has been stimulated, it is sensorial reaction time. Muscular reaction time on the other hand is the one in which the subject is asked to respond as soon as she is stimulated. So we will now look at the instrument that we use. This is the apparatus for measuring and assessing uh, reaction time. It is known as Schumann response scope. Schumann response scope. As you can see, this is the instrument that has been placed on the table. The name of the instrument is Schumann response scope. It is used to measure reaction time and the instrument actually has two faces. One side is for the experimenter, this is the side that the experimenter is supposed to use and there is another side of the instrument which is known as the subject side. So when uh, the experiment is set up, the experimenter will sit on this side facing this side of the instrument and the subject will sit on the other side that is the side from which the response will be given. Now this is the lid of the instrument which can be closed as well as opened. Now there are instructions printed on, uh, the, uh, on, the, on the lid itself which tells us how to put the system on power, how to put the power on 
how to select the desired unit with the unit selector switch. This is the unit selector switch. So we can select our unit, that is how many seconds and how many milliseconds. We can reduce the unit by repeatedly pressing the key and we can increase the uh, unit as well, the number of milliseconds, units of milliseconds as well. There is a section for increasing or decreasing the four period. <coughs> Excuse me. This is how we can increase the four period, the number of seconds. This is how we can decrease the four period, the number of seconds. This is how we can change the number of milliseconds. This is again how we can decrease the number of milliseconds. Now this lid is supposed to act as a screen between the experimenter on one side and the subject or the respondent sitting on another side of the, uh, of the setup. Now ideally if I am the experimenter I have to sit on this side and if Orulima is the subject she has to sit on the other side of the two. For our convenience, we can turn the instrument towards the viewers. Okay. Now the power switch button is located at the base of the instrument. This is the power switch. So if we switch it off, the power is gone from the instrument, the instrument officially shuts down. If we want to switch it on, we just have to put the plug, switch on the switch for the respective switch and then we can switch on the power switch. <coughs> on the left hand side, as I already showed, there is the uh, reset and unit selector. There is this spot for uh, increasing or decreasing the four period. There are switches for increasing and decreasing the four period. At the <coughs> lower end of this uh, stimulus side or the experimental side, there are keys for uh, producing light as stimulus. When we are pressing the key L1, a certain light is glowing on the subject side. <coughs> For the work on uh, stimulus intensity variation, we can use any of when we are using the visual stimulus or light as our stimulus. For the work, we can use several lights. There are five lights L1, L2. There's another light L2. There is another light L3. Lights are not going. There is another light L4. L4 is it going? L4 going? Okay, L4. Then we can reset again. So these lights can be given and as instruction we can tell the subject that as soon as I give you the ready signal be alert and you will see a light glowing on the side on your side of the instrument. When you see the light glowing there is a specific key for the subject. Such keys are SSK1, SSK2, SSK3, SSK4 and 5. So the, if the subject is asked to press any of those keys, the subject has to press the designated key as soon as the light is seen. So, Urnima, are you ready? Yes. yes. So when we set the instrument at 4 period 2 seconds, you will, I will give you, I will show you a light and you will press the SK1 key. Okay, you will
will press the SQ1 key. All right. So, so you can see as soon as the SQ1 key was pressed by the subject, the response or the reaction time has been recorded over here as 0.33 milliseconds. So again, let's let us go for another demonstration. If we are pressing, we again reset. If we are pressing L3. is pressing uh, as soon as the stimulus key is being pressed by the experimenter and the four period uh, of two second duration elapses over here the subject gets to see the light on the other side and as soon as the subject sees the respective light glowing the subject quickly presses the response key that has already been pointed out to her and this is how we get to see her reaction time on this screen. Now we are going to demonstrate uh, the exact instructions and method of work for the uh, specific problem of change of instructions uh, and its impact on the reaction time of the subject. First we will switch on the instrument, we will set the unit, we will set the four period to two seconds as it is the most ideal and well accepted uh, period of time to be used as four period. We are going to use the sound stimulus number one for this work and this is how our instruction will be like. For the natural uh, reaction time, we will tell our subject that please sit comfortably and relax. Please be very attentive. Put your index finger of your preferred hand, that is your dominant hand, which is the right hand in case of this subject, on the key SK4. Okay, or uh, for, uh, the, the key for sound one is SK6. Okay, uh, I will give you a ready signal. That is uh, a beep sound which will be followed by a red light. Or just uh, since we are using the sound stimulus for this work, we will ask the subject to be alert for a sound. Now on hearing the sound, you will press the key SK6. Continue doing this until you are asked to stop. Please report if you feel any difficulty. We will start with the work now. Ready? So as you can see, the subject has pressed the key on hearing the sound and this point 5-3 milliseconds is her reaction time. We will repeat this. We will go on to the next trial. So we reset the uh, unit selector and ready. Sorry. Sorry. Ready? So again, after giving the ready signal, the subject has pressed the respective key with her dominant hand and her reaction time has come to 0 0.80 seconds. So we reset the instrument. Now this is the instruction for natural reaction time. Now we will go on to set 2 of the data which is the data for sensorial reaction time. Now sensorial reaction time is a little different from natural reaction time in that it is it requires the subject to be very attentive and the instructions will be as follows. 
Please sit comfortably and relax. Please be attentive. Put the index finger of your preferred hand on SK, SK6. And again there will be a ready signal which will be followed by a sound. This time make uh, sure that you see or that you hear the sound before pressing the key. Be very careful that you listen to the sound cautiously, carefully and report if you have any difficulty. Only after you are sure that you have heard the sound, only then respond. So are you ready? Now look at the reaction time. It has gone up by several seconds and several milliseconds. That is now it is 2.55. So this extra time from 0 0.80 milliseconds to 2.55 seconds is a reflection of the uh, more caution and care that has been exercised by the subject in responding to the stimulus, in being uh, more careful in selecting the response and looking at the stimulus and this higher attentional resource that has been engaged by the subject. Now for set 2, we are going to reset the instrument. For set 3, which is on muscular reaction time, the instructions will be, please sit comfortably and relax. Please be attentive. Put your index finger of your preferred hand on SK6 again. This time when I give you the ready signal, this will be followed by a sound again. Now press the key as soon as you see the light. As soon as you see the light, I repeat and report immediately if there is any difficulty felt by you. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sorry, uh, did I say light? Uh, you have to listen for the sound. Okay? And as soon as you listen to the sound, as soon as the sound is audible to you, please press the SK6 key. Okay? Ready? Sorry. Just a minute. Ready? Yes. small uh, error in the work. Shall we go again? Yes. Okay. So we will reset. Ready? Yes. See how the reaction time has reduced to 0.34 seconds, milliseconds. This is lesser than the natural reaction time. Shall we do another round of this? Okay. So reset. Ready? See, it's reduced further to 0.21 milliseconds. So this is how we can change the instructions and different uh, <clears throat> and different changes can be seen in the reaction time of the subject. Thank you.